ladies and gents it's funny how you can get georgian out of that hole and one two three four five six paces away you can get iron age 100 bc item astonishing join me on this hunt as we look for more Don't you just love stubble turnips? Let's get on it. I've never seen so many sheep on my permission. There must be about 500 sheep just munching this turnips down. Crazy. But look how good the ground is. So uh, I'm gonna go on a field there. They've been on already. Ladies and gents, just went to show you a uh, find and uh, Noticed I forgot my microphone, so I've gone back to the car to get it. Walking back on this field that I've not been on for years, probably four or five years. But now it's uh, available. I'm going to have a go, but there's my first find of the day. A little tiny lead pistol shot. Maybe the kids were messing around, because I've had a lot of Georgian on here, so... Uh, Maybe the kids had a little gun and they were playing around on the field. Because that is quite a tiny little thing, but it'll do some damage if it hit you in the head. But let's carry on. See if we can find anything older than Georgian. But I am expecting some Georgian stuff. Let's crack on. Ladies and gents, another find. A little decorative fragment of something. I would imagine it's Georgian, but uh, I'm only hedging my bets on what I found previously. Who knows? Little decorative, I don't know, decoration, I would have thought. Better than a shotgun shell, let's carry on. Some kind of bronze, a rim, I think, probably off a, a bowl or something. You can see there's an edge there. An edge on there, look. But yeah, fragment of a bronze bowl or plate, some kind of thing like that. Promising. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, there's something just sitting on the top, just down there. I'll zoom in. It's just here. You see that? It's like a small coin of some kind. Or it might be a button, obviously. Let's, just, let's pick it up. Oh, it's a button. Thought it might be a half penny or something, but it's a button. Yes, ladies and gents, we're into a little thimble, all bit crushed. But you're looking at uh, probably an 1800s thimble there. See the little pattern on it. All squished. Deep tone on the uh, man, uh, mine lab manticore. <laughs> Forgot what machine I had then. Sort of a deep medium tone, I'd say. What was it? About 15. 15 on the uh, scale. There you go. Got a nice signal here. 42. Try and get it from the top, I think. Yeah, it's fairly near the top. Get the precision tool in. <laughs> there it is, I can see it. Decorative, whatever it is, just there. Focus. Have a look. Got a little R on it. Yeah, it's a button. It's got a little R on it. You can see. 
see some lettering on there, so... I don't know which way up it was going to be, but... Could have been a sixpence of that uh, size, couldn't it? But just a button, but a bit better than the normal. What does that say? SR? Something like that. Personalised buttonlet. I'm not sure what it is, but it's definitely been something. It's got a little... Well, that isn't broken there, so that's just a little nib off the end. It goes thin at that end and bends round, so... I mean, I'm thinking some kind of weighing device, maybe a scale of some kind, but I don't think we'll ever know. Worth showing, though. Better than a bit of barbed wire. Let's carry on. Just got a hefty pewter button from the Georgian period. Don't want to show you buttons all day, but that's what the Georgians tended to leave in the ground, as well as coins. Haven't had a coin yet. I did clear them out a few years ago, a lot of them. But there'll still be some here, and no gold or silver ones either, so uh, there's bound to be some here, because I must have had about 20 coins off this uh, field, and it's only small, so look out for the coins. <laughs> here we go. Definitely a lead token, ladies and gents. A bit too far gone to read, but got something on there. If you look closely, it's uh, had something on there, but it's quite thin. And it's better than a button, so I uh, thought I'd show you. More Georgian. This time a handle for some kind of cupboard or a drawer. You can see where it was hinged. Half of it, basically. But, yep, we're right on top of the, uh, the Georgian house. This dates from about 1800s, I reckon. And if you're new here and you want a chance to win this special edition t-shirt, please subscribe, comment new subscriber in the video comments, and also tell me what size you are, and you could be picked at random to win this special edition t-shirt. Ladies and gents, look at this tree, man. It must be 500 years old. It's got a hollow in the bottom, a bit like what you see on the, the movies, really. Look at that. Magnificent. What a tree. I think I just got my first coin, ladies and gents. That was a 46 or so. Just here, around the old Can't see a shank on it, so hopefully it is a coin. Nope. <laughs> it's got a shank. It's about my 12th button, I reckon, but I'm not complaining. It's actually got a pattern on there, it's a crown on there, look. Not sure if it's military, but. Quite clearly see a crown. A bit of right on the edge. So, slightly better button than uh, the normal again. Along with the SR one I've had, so. Uh, yeah. Not as bad as I thought. Ladies and gents, just had like loads of lead and that. It's a good sign, but not really finding much. And then uh got a 63. Looks like some kind of buckle to me, but let's have a look. It's quite old actually. Hmm, it looks very old to be honest. Be careful with this. It's got that kind of Celtic Iron Age look to it, to be honest. Definitely has. Can you see, like, yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be Iron Age that has, surely. Let me just zoom in a minute. See them details on the end. Got to be some kind of turret ring or something, hasn't it? But, if it is, has made my day. I'm going to clean it up a bit for you. I'm going to come back on camera.
Well, would you believe it, ladies and gents? That is late Iron Age to early Roman territory. 100 BC to 100 AD, roughly in date. It's made of bronze. Needless to say, I'm going to search this area a little bit more. But I've had a, quite a bit of lead just nearby. So hopefully, there might be some Celtic or Roman coins here. You never know. That's made my dig, that is. This channel don't just bring you uh, Georgian buttons. <laughs> what a beautiful little thing. Let's carry on. Let's get digging. Ladies and gents, back on the Georgian now. Six paces away, I think, from that... Uh, Iron Age artifact, and you get Georgian again. So uh, it's amazing what you find. I mean, if you're in fields and you're not finding much, keep at it because unless I find other bits and pieces, Iron Age or even Roman, that looks like it looks like it might be a one-off uh, loss. But I'm still searching the area. But just keep at it. Just crack on. I think, ladies and gents, this is a bit of Georgian again. Um, just down here, looks like a Georgian handle, but let's reveal. Find out. Yes, yeah, quite a delicate one, but it's. Uh, Gonna be a Georgian handle that. It's not as chunky as some of the ones you find, but that's not Iron Age. <laughs> Very similar, really, aren't they? But you can tell, obviously, tell them apart by miles, but similar sort of shape. So you could be fooled and think that was older than it is, but. Like I say, it's probably 1800s Georgian, and that's obviously 100 BC to 100 AD, 2,000 years old. So, uh, amazing, really. Design is very similar. Totally different purposes, so That would have been used for, obviously, um, horse reins or, you know, straps or whatever they used it for. And this on a uh, cabinet or a drawer to pull the drawer open or, or the door open. There you go.